Hi, I'm Kat Keen and I'm a wedding planner and I've been in the industry for 22 years and today I'm going to help you plan your wedding. So first things first, we need to find a venue, you need to find a photographer and a florist. So when searching for your venue, you will know it when you see it. The second you step in to the place where you're going to get married, you'll feel it right away. You'll be able to determine uh, through this process whether you'll get married inside or outside, whether you want a garden reception and also a garden ceremony, vice versa, um, or you'll turn everything and take it to the beach, uh, you'll take it to a hotel. You'll know it. When you walk into this venue, you'll feel it. So make sure you see a lot of those. Um, give yourself a lot of exposure and uh, don't cut any venue out. Don't be afraid if it's got a very ritzy name like the Ritz Carlton or the Four Seasons. Just go in there. It's like window shopping. You'll get a lot of ideas. You'd be surprised what you come up with. So now choosing a photographer, you need to do this pretty quickly off the bat as well as their calendars fill up uh, even before wedding season. So once a photographer is booked, they're booked. And you'll know their talent just by looking at their visuals. So make sure it's a, it's a photographer that shares a lot of uh, design and detail just like you want out of your wedding. When picking your florist, uh, here's what I suggest you do. Uh, talk to your friends that have already been married. Ask them who their florist was. Also, don't be afraid of the big names florist, like Mark's Garden. You know, go into Mark's Garden. He's got a beautiful studio. Take photographs. I'm a huge fan of using your cell phone and taking photographs. Also, when you do find a florist, take photos, take pictures, rip things out of magazines. Explain to them what you want. They're going to need to see in detail what you're looking for. They also are going to want to know what your favorite flowers are because they want to make sure that your flower of choice is actually going to be in season the day of your wedding. Thanks for watching and for more great wedding tips, click on the links and we'll see you next time at Mahalo.com.